Hello, preteen friends. It's Coach Ashley. What I'm going to do today is go through all of the stuff that I just sent you guys, and I'm going to show you anything that I think needs to be shown, okay? So you can watch it the one time, and then if you need it later, you can go through and just find the parts you need to. Some of it will be stuff you already know, and some of it might be new because sometimes I do things different than the other coaches did it, okay? I hope you guys are working really hard at home and doing all of your stretches so that we can get ready for when we get back into the gym because soon it's going to be time to learn routines and do all sorts of stuff for team next year. So the first thing you need to do on the days that you can, you want to go outside and move for 30 minutes. And maybe you can't do 30 minutes, 15 is okay. You can go running or jogging, you can walk, you can walk your dog, you can walk with your parents, you can walk with your brother and sister, you can ride your bike or your scooter or your skateboard, you can try to do that, get your body moving. With that, we're going to do a little bit of conditioning. We've done this before, but I don't know how many times, okay? We're going to do countdown. So I'm going to put the skills and you're going to do 10 of all of them. Use some water because you're going to be tired. And then you're going to do nine of all of them. Eight, and you're gonna do it all the way until you get through one and there's zero things left. And the first thing on your list is jumping jacks. I think we all know how to do jumping jacks. So you have 10 jumping jacks and then you have your sit-ups. I'm gonna give you two choices when you do your sit-ups. To do your sit-ups, you can lay flat with your feet down, not on your toes, feet all the way down and sit up and touch your knees and come back down. Or you can do tuck-ups and you're gonna lay flat all the way tight you're going to sit up and your toes come up off the floor and lay back down. Arch ups are supermans, okay? You're going to lay nice and flat, arms in front, toes together, and you're going to go arch up, one, two, three, lay flat. That goes my water. And up, one, two, three, lay flat. Okay? The two choices. I would like your push-ups to go up and be on your toes, feet together, okay? And go down as low as you can and back up. I don't want to see any booties up. If you can't do it or you get tired, you can put your knees down and back up, okay? And your very last one is frog jumps. We already know how to do those because we are super strong and super smart. Stretch, straddle is first. Okay, so you straddle his feet apart, knees up, pointy toes, okay? One across, reach over, count to 10. Reach over, count to 10. Down in the middle, count to 10. You do butterfly, you can let them flop a little bit. And then you're gonna gently press down. And then you're gonna make a diamond. Reach in front with your toes. Take your hands, reach in front, and lay flat. All of these are 10 to 15 seconds. Then you're gonna pike. Reach up tall, pointy toes, lay flat, 10 seconds, and then flex your toes, 10 seconds. To get ready for your splits, remember we have two stretches we like to do. We go up on our knees, we put your right foot in front, and you push. So what I don't want is this, that's bad, and you'll go on your toes. Put your foot out and push your hips down. And then you make a straight leg and you put your nose down. And then you can do your split. And then you have to do your left leg, okay? So put it out. Remember, not like this, my knee's too far forwards. Put that out and push and then make a straight leg and go down. Now stand up and you'll slide into your middle split and then you have your bridge. For your bridge, I want you to try to get your legs together, okay? And you're going to try to make them straight when you're upside down. I don't want to see crazy feet, okay? Everything tight and clean. The next part of this video, we're going to go through your assignments. So on your assignments, there's all kinds of different skills. I'm not going to do all of them because some of them you know. Okay, and then if you have questions, you can have your mom or your dad or your big brother, sister, aunt, uncle, grandma, babysitter, whoever, send me an email back and ask for help and then I will help you with those, okay? All right, the first thing we have is rolls, your forward rolls. So our forward rolls start by standing up super tall, nice and tight, and we reach down, and we roll, and we stand up and finish. Now when we roll, our legs should be together. Okay, so if you feel like you've got legs apart or feet apart, what I want you to do is you can take some papers and fold them, or you can take a towel or a washcloth, put it between, squeeze. Now try to roll with that in there and see if it helps you keep them together. Or maybe it's just your feet, you can put it down there too. Okay, same thing for your backward rolls. 
when you finish your backward roll, a lot of us are landing with our knees down and that's not great. What we wanna do is land on our feet, okay? Land on our feet in a tuck. And if you can, start to be a little bit open and then stand up and ta-da. Next thing is your handstand work. I'm gonna do two of each thing. Arms up tight, no daylight. No, if you can see the daylight through, that's bad. Hide it, okay? Point your favorite foot. Mountain, make a T. One, two, three, stand up, ta-da. Together, point, arms up, point, mountain, T, one, two, three, ta-da. So on that T, you're trying to be flat, just like letter T, that's an M, that's a Y. Hide it, make it flat like a T. Stand up, ta-da. All of our shapes that go forwards will start like this. So next is your lever. That is point, mountain, T, reach, touch the floor, stand up, ta-da. Keep together, arms up, remember, no daylight. Point, mountain, T, stretch, touch the floor, stand up, ta-da. My arms are still tight, I didn't stand up like a zombie. After that, you can just do your regular handstands too and try to make your toes kiss and stand up tall. Other than that, you can also do handstands on a wall. So you're gonna turn around and put your feet and walk your toes up and no daylight, nice and tight and squeeze. We've done this before at vault with our rainbows. Okay, you'll remember it from that. You're gonna go across, you're gonna put your bum in the middle, put your legs up on something, put your shoulders up on something and then squeeze tight. Next is bridges, okay? You guys all know how to do your bridge, so what I want you to work on in your bridge is knees and feet together and super straight legs. You can also do things like put one foot up in the air, put your other foot up in the air, go to your bridge and rock back and forth. When we rock back and forth, we're pushing our stinky armpits forwards. That's getting us ready to do our kickover. We wanna be able to kick it over here soon. Okay, and that's also why we do a bridge and we hold one leg up in the air nice and straight. So when you're up, you're holding it straight. Okay, rocks will move like this, but not in a table and a bridge. You'll go to a bridge, okay? Now for back bends, for back bends, if you do not have your back bend, you should not try to do it all by yourself because you might bump your head. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand up tall and you can reach back and put your hands on the wall and stand up. And then you can try to walk your hands down the wall. You can try to stand up tall. Always arms at our ears. Look at your hands. Try to bend back and touch the couch. Do your back bend that way. And if you can do that, then you can take a cushion or a couple of pillows and try to go back to that. It's very, very important in a back bend. You have strong arms by your ears and you look at your hands. If you get weak or bent arms, you're gonna smush on your head, okay? If you're not ready to try that, what you're gonna do is go up on your knees, tall, arms up, try to stretch back and touch the couch, and then try to stretch back and touch the floor. Now for your cartwheel, we're gonna start the same way that we do for our handstand. All of our skills start like this. So no daylight, tight arms, point, mountain, stretch, cartwheel. Those cartwheels are gonna land different ways. Remember, in a cartwheel, your ugly foot lands, your favorite foot lands. So you can land in a lunge, okay? You can land and step together. My arms are still up tight and tall. You can step together, sit down and do a candlestick. You can step together, squat down and do a backward roll. In our routine next year, we're gonna do a round off. And if you don't have a very pretty cartwheel, now is a really good time to work on it and our round off will be awesome. I'm gonna go over the jumps that we've been doing on our Zooms. If you've missed our Zooms, I will send an email every Sunday with the day, the time, the link, and the password. We're gonna go over the basic level two routine or pieces of it. We also do some strength, stretch. Sometimes we chat a little bit about stuff. We do our roles, all sorts of fun stuff. It lets me see them, it lets you guys see me, and we can work together to get ready while we're out of the gym and do the best that we can do. We're gonna stand up with our arms at our ears. Super tall. Okay, the first one is a straight jump. So in all of our jumps, we plie. Plie is just feet and knees a little bit bent. 
okay? And straight jump land. My arms did not go anywhere. Straight jump land, okay? The next jump is a tuck jump. And a tuck jump, some people jump and their feet go whoop, whoop. That is not correct. So when you do your tuck jump with your arms up, you're gonna jump and I want you to try to get your legs up tall, both of them, because you're jumping. But not, so arms up, plie, tuck jump, okay? Big tuck jump. Then to work on our split jump, okay? I want you to kick your favorite foot to the front 10 times. I want you to kick your ugly foot to the back 10 times. And then you can work on split jumps. I don't need them to be very big. I need them to be very pretty. So when you kick, no sitting, no bending, okay? Tall and pretty, straight legs, straight legs, even to the back, straight legs, straight legs, okay? So just a little split jump for now. Plie, split jump. Just a baby split jump. The last thing on this video is going to be turns. Later you'll get a separate video from me and it's gonna be all about vault and bars, but one thing at a time. Okay, so today for turns, what you need to do is know your flamingo, your passe shape very well. For passe shape, you can put your hands on your hips for now or your hands up. Okay, point your favorite foot, stand flamingo. So my flamingo brings my toe on by my knee, right on the inside, and this is flat like a table. Okay, I wanna be able to put my ice cream and it will stay. If it's like this, it's gonna slide away, cannot eat it, okay? You're also gonna practice going, pull up, point, ta-da, okay? We're also gonna practice going up and down in releve. To be ready to turn. And the very last thing is gonna be flamingo. Squeeze, flamingo. Squeeze, in and out like that. Okay, try to keep your big toe down on that foot. Also, we're gonna work on your step locks. Our step locks are in our beam routine and our floor routine, so we're gonna need them. Okay, you are gonna point your favorite foot Step together, squeeze. Okay, so this is not right. Flat is not right. You're gonna point, stand on your tippy toes and get super close. Okay, they should almost be touching all the way down. Arms up so you can stretch tall. Push your big toes down. Squeeze through your ankles. Nice archy feet, then down. Do you guys another video with vault and bars in it later, okay? Awesome job. Work hard. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye.